Hi all, this is Mr. A's guide to using the Pick Play Post app. Pick Play Post is a split screen video app that allows you to create a video collage of any videos you've recorded by yourself that you want to blend together so they're played simultaneously. There are all kinds of split screen video apps that you might like to play with, but I've experimented with some of the most popular ones, including TikTok, which I don't recommend, and I've found that this one creates great results and is very simple to use. Firstly, you'll need to record up to four separate videos by yourself, just using your normal camera app. If you're recording music, it's well worth using an online metronome or a drum track to help you to keep everything in time. For this, I simply go to YouTube and search for rock drum beat and the speed that I want, in this case, 120 beats per minute. If you're recording dialogue for a drama scene, you'll need to film each actor's role in turn, leaving gaps for the lines in between. So, for example, here's an extract from a Jack and the Beanstalk script. Button says, hi Jack, you okay? Jack says, hi Buttons, I'm not so great today to be honest, how are you? Buttons then says, oh, you know me Jack, I'm always in a good mood, what's up? Jack replies, well Buttons, Mum asked me to take Daisy to the market to see if I could sell her to make some money for food, but all I managed to get were these magic beans. Mum was not happy with me when I got home, I can tell you. So for the first video, I would film Buttons Pop. I would say, hi Jack, you okay? And then I'd wait for a few seconds for Jack to say his lines. Then I would say, oh you know me Jack, I'm always in a good mood, what's up? I'd then wait again, a few seconds for Jack to reply. For my second video, I would film Jack's part. So I'd wait for a few seconds for Buttons to say, hi Jack, how are you? Then I'd say, hi Buttons, I'm not so great today to be honest, how are you? Then I'd wait for a few seconds for Buttons to reply, well Buttons, mum asked me, blah, 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 blah. For this video, I've just recorded a few guitar tracks because in a few weeks time, you'll need to use this kind of app for a music project that we're going to set you, but more on that later. So let's get into how this app actually works. Firstly, you'll need to download Pick Play Post from your app store and then open the app. Click on New Project at the bottom of the screen, then click on Create New Collage in the middle here. You'll now be shown options for different collage templates that are available. Please click on Classic because you'll have to pay to upgrade to Premium and we don't want you to pay for any uh, apps or sound effects or anything that we do for any of the projects that we're setting you. So. Once I've clicked on classic, I'm going to select the four by four template here. Now you will see the four squares with little plus signs in each of them. And I'm going to click on the top left box and click to add a video. This will open the photos library on your phone and you can pick the first video that you want to use. Once you've selected a video, you can press the play button to preview it and click again to pause. Pick Play Post will allow you to choose exactly when you want your video to start. At the moment, you can see that it's set to start at zero minutes, zero seconds, right at the start of my video clip. But I actually want to trim the start off, so I'm gonna drag the time scale thing at the bottom here back to the start, and I'm gonna try to pause it just before I actually start playing uh, after my drum beat counts me in. If you're recording dialogue rather than music here, you'll want to pause the video just before your actor says their first line. Press play and pause. And once you've paused the video where you want it to start, click on the start button here and the start time of my clip will change to wherever you just paused it. Now set to zero minutes and four seconds. You can click play to preview it again. And if you're happy with it, press the green tick in the top right corner and your video clip will be added to your collage. I'm now going to click on the square on the top right and add my next video. I'm gonna go through all the same processes for my next three videos. If you're not happy with the start time you've created, you can drag the timeline back to the start, hit the start button, and it will reset your start time to zero. You can do this as many times as you want, and there is an option for tweaking this later on uh, if your videos don't match up perfectly first time. Once you're happy you've got four videos in place, you will have a number of options at the bottom of the screen here. You can click on style, which allows you to change the border width and how rounded you want the borders to be. And you can also change the color of your borders too. 
press the green tick at the top when you're happy and move on. Here we've got music. You can of course add a music track to your video, but seeing as I'm making a music video here anyway, I'm actually not gonna bother. Again, click the green tick at the top of the screen and move on. Now I can click on edit, and again, I can change the start time of my clips or select if I want them to loop uh, around and around. And again, when I'm done, click the green tick at the top. I can now click on preview to see how they all sound together or I can finally click on any of my squares at the top to add extra effects. So if I click on my top left square, you'll see the options at the bottom of the screen change. I can now click on filters to change the color for my clip. So for this one, I'm going to make the top left clip sepia to give it a more vintage look. Make sure to click twice on sepia for the changes to be made and the filter will be applied. Next, I'm going to click on my top right clip and change that filter to abstract, again, clicking twice. Then my bottom left clip, I'm going to add a sketch effect. And you might need to click the green X here on the right to take you back to the other effects and editors. Here you can also flip your clip horizontally or flip it vertically by clicking here or rotating your clip by clicking here. Again, I can click the green X to take me back and then I can click preview, click my green tick to say that I'm done and then click save and share. Again, pick play post will offer me the chance to upgrade for longer videos, but I'm happy that the one minute I've got here is enough. So I'll just click continue. I'm now gonna click on camera roll and then on optimum quality and wait for the video to render. This will take a few seconds. You will now find the rendered video clip in your phone's photo library, ready to upload, email or share. I hope that's helped explain this kind of app to you now. There are plenty of other apps to choose from, so do feel free to play with as many as you like, but I would recommend this. Uh, we might be looking at the Acapella app later this term. Any problems, just email me. Otherwise, enjoy it.